This is Twit. Well, speaking of enhanced connectivity, um, we were talking recently about Russia and China's ongoing work to proactively, well, to attempt to proactively manage and control their citizens' access to unfiltered global internet content. Both governments clearly see it as in their respective nations' best interest to restrict the flow of uncensored communications. As we've noted, this is at least theoretically possible for land-based wired communications. Uh, we talked about how um, Russia is going to like arrange to, to with Rosman Condor, <laughs> whatever that <laughs> their their uh, their uh, technology group is, to to force all internet traffic through some pinch points that, that that allows them to control it. And that means they'll have to have their own internal DNS. So they're, they're setting that up. Um, and uh, our listeners reminded me after that discussion about wired solutions that the problem is much bigger for radio. Um, and then I was reminded of this when I saw a story yesterday about Amazon's recent application to the United States FCC, our Federal Communications Commission, asking for regulatory approval for their Project Kuiper. Uh, Wikipedia has this to say about Amazon's Project Kuiper. In April 2019, Amazon announced that they would fund and deploy a large broadband satellite internet constellation called Project Kuiper. It is expected is it Kuiper? I think that's how you pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, the, the Kuiper Kuip, Belt. The Van, Van Kuiper yeah. Belt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That you in front of the eye always kind of throws me off a little bit. It's like, wait a minute. Uh, it's expected to take up to a decade to fully deploy, get this, all 3,236 satellites planned for the full constellation in order to provide internet to, quote, tens of millions of people who lack basic access to broadband internet, unquote. The satellites will use an orbit with a height between 590 and 630 kilometers. Kuiper will work in concert with Amazon's previously announced large network of 12 sa satellite ground station facilities. That's the AWS ground station unit announced back in November of 2018. Amazon filed communications license documents with U.S. authorities in July of 2019. That's, that's this. So I was impressed that Wikipedia was right up to date, which included information that the wholly owned Amazon subsidiary that intended to deploy the satellite constellation was Kuiper Systems LLC based in Seattle, Washington. Quote, the Kuiper system will consist of that 3,236 satellites operating in 98 orbital planes at altitudes of, in this case, it's, uh, I'll do it in miles, 370 miles, 380 miles, and 390 miles. So I guess, you know, three different shells. The Kuiper system includes high-performance satellites, terrestrial gateways, internet internetworking technologies, and a range of customer terminals, says Wikipedia. ZDNet wrapped up their coverage noting that Elon Musk's SpaceX Starlink broadband satellite system was deployed about a month ago. It uses 60 six zero satellites, and all but three of those are functioning as intended. Additionally, SpaceX has been given permission by the FCC to deploy up to 7,000 satellites in the future, and both OneWeb and Facebook have outlined their own plans to monetize space. <laughs> I love that term. There's going to be yes, 100,000 satellites out there. It's crazy. crazy. Uh, it is nuts. Um, and, you know, who's going to keep them from bumping into each other is what I want to know. You'll have to, like, you'll have to, how, how do you launch a rocket without, like, running through the flight path? So, yeah, literally tens of thousands of satellites. Yeah, Elon wants to do 12,000 by himself. Whoa. So you just add, you know, Amazon, Facebook, and everybody else. I love the idea of internet, high speed internet, and low Earth orbit, since uh, low Earth orbit yes. uh, satellites to everywhere yes. in the world. That would be amazing. In fact, it transformed my life because I could do this show anywhere. But so it appears 
I also want yes. to see the sun once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Why is the sky gray? Well, once upon a time, it was blue. But then we, we gave ourselves a, a cloak of satellites. Yeah. Google, so anyway, the, it appears, Google the Kessler syndrome, because that's the real fear of all of this, that the, if they start to collide, you'll have a chain uh, reaction. I know. And you'll have so much debris around the Earth, we won't be able to see so, it. So, of course, th this, this makes you wonder what happens with China and Russia. Because if you've, we've got all these satellites zipping around all over the place, um, I guess they could be programmed, and I, presumably they would be yeah, if you, they're even if they're passing over nations that don't want their citizens to have access. They would just go dark guess, during their yeah. overfly um, in order to to not be present. But you know, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this all uh, evolves because boy. You know, the, the as you said, Leo, the the sky is going to be full of internet. 